Hi Amaze Open Screens, I'm Caroline Clark, founder of Scribblescape, and I want to talk about a project I've been working on called Cracks. I will start by showing a trailer. Cracks is what I'm going to call a relationship platformer. It's a single player side scrolling narrative platformer following the couple Liam and Lana as they navigate the highs, lows, and struggles of their relationship. We want to communicate the connection between these characters and the misunderstandings that get in the way with a combination of game mechanics and storytelling. One of these mechanics is this idea of switching places. The characters face trivial and not so trivial challenges in their lives that they need to overcome together. For example, they share one key to the flat between them, so you can switch between the characters to achieve the goal, i.e. by ringing the bell and letting someone in. When the connection breaks down between them, for example when one of them is upset or uncooperative, the characters become unresponsive or go into automatic mode, where they operate in a basic way but you can't switch to them. So in this example, the woman is tired and annoyed that he's late home, so she's operating on autopilot. The player cannot switch to her and has to wait for her to open the door. Another way we want to communicate their connection is we want this feeling of touch and interaction between the characters, with holding hands being a physical thing you mimic with your controller or mouse. Being able to cooperate together impacts what they're able to achieve, they can help elevate each other to reach new areas. They can each push heavy objects, but combined can push heavier objects than the two individually. Finally, the game explores the idea of conversations as levels, that conversations have a shape that we can show. The example here is where Lana has to decide what they're both going to have for takeout. This is shown as a fork in the level. Once she decides, Liam has to go along with what she's picked. We can see the decision that he would have made, but he's no longer allowed to go down that route because she's already made the decision. In this scenario, Lana is annoyed about something but is refusing to tell Liam. So the level is about Liam trying to uncover what this information is and how he can help. It is both hidden and is also the goal of this level so far, I've shown an overview of our game Cracks, some of the functionality that has been built and some of the aspects of the story that we aspire to tell in this game. Um, I'm now going to talk a bit about more behind the scenes, some of the decisions that led us to the point, this point, some of the design ideas, uh, kind of dev diaries, if you will. So this game came out of a game jam, Castle Jam, in 2018, where the theme was capricious or changeable. So the demo was at the point of a breakup and trying to capture that change of mood before and after the breakup. There was a lot of things I was really excited about with this. Um, I felt like the, this was a good example of uh, how art plus music plus gameplay can all um, 
all together be more than the sum of their parts. I felt like that was the first time I saw how uh, the game mechanics of a game can make the player feel a certain way and how that can then tell the story of the player character. So here uh, there's a big change of mood and the player has thrown somewhere that they didn't really anticipate. So it puts them in quite a high stress environment. Plus the kind of moderately difficult gameplay makes them feel stressed and thus makes them identify with the player character feeling, feeling stressed. So the idea that game mechanics can be an additional vector with which to tell a story, um, that was incredibly novel to me. Uh, I know other games do this, I'm not saying it's a particularly original idea, but I was so excited to realise that that was a possibility. There was kind of an interesting question then um, of, okay, we want to continue working on this, we feel like this project is going somewhere, but where do we go? Um, do we continue with the breakup? Like, do we continue with following Liam um, down his path of recovery? Um, like something about maybe the different stages of grief and the different ways that that impacts him and how he recovers from that. And we did create during the jam different level ideas to if in case we wanted to cover different moods. My main problem with these levels though is that they didn't really tackle that thing that you really have in a breakup, which is that feeling of loss. And if we could tell that story of loss through game mechanics, that would be really cool. So it seemed clear to me that we should tell the story leading up to the breakup and thus tell the story of the two characters together to show what is lost in that breakup in game mechanics. Like, have it being in a relationship should add functionality and that makes sense if the other character is that extra functionality. So we quite quickly jumped to this idea of two playable characters with the ability to switch between them when their cooperation is good. But this has some interesting consequences. Like, if you think of a normal platforming level, you normally only have to look around the player character and the environment directly around it, and then as the environment is further and further from the player, it's kind of less and less important. But if you have two characters, that's no longer the case, especially if they're quite far apart from each other. The clip that's been playing so far is my first pass at trying to have a kind of cooperation level with both characters. And you can see I short-circuited that and just made them into one playable blob because the controls were just so much easier to tutorialize. So I want to do a quick shout out to Journey of the Broken Circle because that's a game that does loss in both the story and the game mechanics and I think it's a good example of how that can be quite impactful. Um, I also wanted to talk about another thing about having two playable characters uh, is that your relationship as a player to those two playable characters becomes a lot more undefined. Um, in a single player game, you essentially role play as the main player character. Um, generally, they end up being a little bit bland as a result because to allow you to at least somewhat project your experience, they, they, there's, there's some fuzziness, there's some give in those characters to allow you to decide who they really are. Um, when you have two playable characters, are you God? Are you both characters? Like, how do you, if you have agency over these two characters, what does any conflict between them actually mean? Because you are able to decide what their relationship is. You're allowed to make the choices. So I'll give some more concrete examples of the type of thing I'm talking about because it's getting a bit abstract. So for example, one of the characters really wants eggs for breakfast and the other one has the choice to go to the supermarket to buy eggs. And then if they don't buy eggs, then you have a choice of whether you will hold a grudge against the partner, right? Like this kind of works if you only have control of one partner and then the other one holds a grudge or you get to decide whether to hold a grudge. But when you have control of both, these storylines break down really quickly because there's no emotional impact if you play as both characters. So the game almost begs that you remove control of one of the characters at some point because otherwise 
you can't tell the story of the breakdown of their relationship, not, not in a way that's actually meaningful. One of the big difficulties then with this game has been also one of the most fundamental, which is what game mechanics do you use to explore the world? The relationship is a fundamental game mechanic, but it's also changing. I mean, in this example, the woman runs off because she's annoyed. You lose control of her, and this is one of the first times in the demo that I have so far that she does this. Like, my initial thoughts when I built this was that this would tell the story of being rejected, like it's a kind of cold shoulder, and... But on playtesting, I'm, I'm a bit less sure whether it tells the story between the characters in that the mechanics kind of break a little, or whether it tells more of a story between the player's relationship to the game, that the game has not behaved as expected. In order for a mechanic misbehaving to tell its own story, it needs to behave for a long time. And that is a lesson I've learned embarrassingly late.